and I'm thrilled to be back here in Milton and alongside so many of my caucus colleagues, the champs, I'm going to get to the champs here in a minute, for Ford Fest 2024. Oh. <laughs> This year's Ford Fest was held in Milton's Country Heritage Park on Friday evening and despite the rain there was still a large turnout. Fantastic facility, had tons of volunteers, great people even though we had a tremendous rainstorm throughout. People had a great time with all the different activities for the kids and lots of food, lots of desserts. So it was great. We had Doug come in and make like a half hour speech, it was terrific. And all the MPs are, MPPs are here as well. So. Uh, Great turnout and a great opportunity to have a chance to chat with your local MPPs or ask some questions, whatever it is you want to do. So it's a fantastic day. Milton's MPP, Z Hamid, could not be more pleased with the location chosen this year. Oh, I am the happiest person alive right now. Honestly, the 124 ridings in Milton, and this is the riding the Fort Fest came to. I couldn't be happier. In response to protesters against building Highway 413, Z Hamid had this to say. Look, when I was Milton Council, the town of Milton Council asked for 413 not once but twice, and that's because we know how important it is to make sure our highway infrastructure keeps up with population growth. Now, transit is important as well, which is why our government is missing more money in transit than any other government in the history of this province. In fact, we're overseeing the largest transit expansion anywhere in North America. However, we must also invest in highways. This highway is going to be a game changer for commuters here in Milton. It's going to reduce travel times by 30 minutes each way, saving drivers up to one hour per day on one of the most congested corridors in North America. Others expressed their concerns regarding our province's health care and education, which Premier Ford said they're investing heavily in. We're spending the unprecedented amount in health care. It's never been done before. $22 billion more over the last few years. In health care, that's not including what we're building as well. In health care, we've added over 3,500 new hospital beds since 2020. We're going to add another 3,000 on top of that, including right here in Halton Region. We're investing over $50 billion over the next decade to support more than 50 new hospital projects right across the province. You're either getting a new hospital or you're getting an addition to hospital. In education, we are building $16 billion worth of schools. We're building two new elementary schools right here in Milton, accommodating close to 1,700 students. In addition to live music, the event featured free beef, halal and veggie burgers as well as hot dogs and ice cream, rides and inflatable jump houses. It's great. I came all the way from Toronto and I'm enjoying everything and the rain didn't stop me from enjoying everything. The ice cream, the veggie burger, the crowd and everybody. It's just beautiful. It was really, really nice. I'm glad I didn't miss it. For Halton News, I'm Jessica Kading.